Sebastian, an independent watchmaker with a surprising level of vertical integration. There, the brand CEO, Mauro Germini, will tell us about the brand and one of the best kept secrets in the industry, the manufacturing of the strategic components, the Aston. So the history of Chanceten, it starts with a love story. Love story started in 1870 uh, between uh, Olga Etienne and Paul Arthur Schwartz. And they decided to create Schwartz Etienne in 1902. At the beginning, Schwartz Etienne was not uh, really a watchmaking brand, but it was a sole movement creator, developer and producer. They've been running this company for uh, years and years uh, on movement, so between 1902 and 1950. And there are three different brands, uh, schwarz brand, Alpha brand and Venus brand. During the early 50s, they decided to launch the first swatches under two names. Uh, first was obviously schwarz and the second one was Claude Wilhelm. And this uh, has been during until the 70s. And early 80s, they decided to relaunch a new concept, which was the beginning of private label. They uh, have been working for uh, Chanel, first brand, and then they did a huge amount of Daniel watches between 82 and 96, before Daniel was sold to Rigeux, the Richemont Group, and uh, other brands also, such as also uh, Caranda Jaguar or uh, Mauboussin, the famous Parisian jeweler. During the 90s, they decided to make a huge relaunch of the brand, but not anymore with manufacture movement. Uh, in 2007, uh, Mr. Radeki decided to relaunch the concept of manufacture movement, starting with modular movement. And uh, we got the movement in 2013, first prototype of the two modular MSE and ASE movements. Personally, I arrived in 2014, not only for running schwarz Etienne, so the brand, but also for the creation of E2O innovation. E2O meaning escapement oscillating organs, where we produce, create and develop anchor wheels, balance wheel, anchor, and also the earth spring, which is one of the most strategic components in the watchmaking industry. In 2015, we decided to relaunch the brand on the full manufacture concept, full manufacture movement. Clearly, we produce our own movement inside house since 2014 now, and we develop different range of, uh, of movements. So, as I told you, starting with the MSE A ASE, Manuel schwarz Automatic schwarz -Etienne. Then we developed the ISE, Irreversible schwarz -Etienne. So we took the automatic movement and we turned it upside down, uh, starting from Tourbillon schwarz -Etienne, TSE, and after that, Tourbillon Small Retrograde Second, PSR in French, Petite Seconde Retrograde. And the last creation uh, is the QSE, Quantium schwarz -Etienne. The first time we put a date on, the, on our movement. But, uh, what I can tell is that the philosophy of schwarz since 2014 is clearly to show the small complication on the top of, of the movement. Thanks to the ISE, so the reverted movement, uh, we have the opportunity now to show how it works. Now, since 2015, we decided to create other companies. So now we have a small industrial or watchmaking group where we have four companies belonging to it. So first company is schwarz clearly the mother. After that we have E2O Innovation, production of air spring, balance wheel and uh, assortments. We have TMH, Tradition Mécanique Horlogère, so mechanical horological tradition, uh, where we produce 100% of our main plates and bridges and also other different components. We master the laser technology also inside house. And the last company called La Division du Temps. We have uh, five to six uh, clients. The main client now is Ming Watches, Kuala Lumpur, where we develop the, the watches. So two words about the schwarz collection. We have four range or four families of product now. So Roma, the classical one, round shape. The beauty is really behind because we, we, we can dive into our movement. Why? Because no oscillating weight. So we have a micro rotor instead of a big oscillating weight. So it seems that you can absolutely dive into this beautiful movement, which is angled by hand and also decorated with Côte de Genève six bridges. On the top, uh, clearly, we decided to work on the 
three level of finishing on the dial to put a bit of structure. Second collection is called Rosewell. Why Rosewell? So why first of all name of the city? Because all the Schwarzetten collection have uh, city names. It's historical and we continue like that. So Rosewell, if you look at the shape of the case, it's clearly inspired pirated by 50s UFO, a flying saucer. So Roswell is mounted with the ISE movement, so irreversible. And first time that we show the small complication on the top, so we can see the balance wheel and we can also have a look on the micro rotor, which are both visible. This collection is much more uh, trendy and contemporary. The third collection, La Chaux-de-Fonds, featuring a big complication and uh, where we have uh, our tourbillon little bit reworked, flying tourbillon first and a tourbillon small retrograde second. In all the collection we try to put a bit of poetry, uh, we try to play with colors, we try to play with hard stones, we try to clearly to be different and uh, not only from our competitors but I would like men to dare and to be a little bit not fashionable but more colorful. The fourth collection, which is not really a collection but it's a concept, Ode. We launched a few years ago the first concept which was called Ode to the Week with a seven tourbillon jumping hour and retrograde minutes. The concept was each day represent planet, Monday is the moon, Tuesday is March and so on. The new old concept is Ode to the, Ode to the Spring. We launched this concept this year. So this is the reinterpretation of the spring season seen by Schwarz Etienne. So we, we played with flowers, we work with art stone, and we work also with bees. Why bees? Because uh, bees are part of the life of uh, La chaux -de We have seven bees on our flag, and uh, clearly this is also really actual to talk about bees. So we start with a wire of 0.6 mm and the uh, first step is that we will have to reduce the section of this wire to get a wire finally of about 0.07 mm. Uh, this first operation is called drawing. We work with diamond dice uh, and we, we have between 45 to 70 passes inside the machine you can see on the screen. Each time we make one pass, after that we uh, clearly clean the, the wire. Why? Uh, from time to time you can have particles of titanium or tungsten coming out of the material and if you stress the material in another dies, a smaller dies, these small particles can re-enter the material and can produce defects or uh, big scratches in order to avoid the wire from breaking. Once we got the wire at the good diameter, the second step will be the rolling. So the rolling is a transformation from a round wire to a rectangular blade because the shape of the spring is a blade, it's not a wire clearly. So we'll have to press the round section in order to transform it in a rectangular section. This machine allows us to get a precision of 100 nanometers. This is really, really important to get that, uh, that precision. Why? Because one micron on all the lengths of the hair spring means 3,000 seconds per day of running differences. So the more precise you are, the more precise will be the production and finally the watch. So the, the process is you enter the wire on one side, you have the two rolls which press the wire and transform it in a blade. When it comes out, you have two cameras which make the live measurement and correct uh, directly the machines, the top block with the top uh, cylinder. After that, we will have to cut the blades before to do the coiling uh, operation. So the cutting is clearly simple. Uh, you cut the blade at a good length. And after the coiling, so we have barrels where we put four blades inside and we coil them all together. We need to be really precise with the length of the blade in order to fulfill completely the barrel. Once the four blades are coiled together, we thread them in order to be totally flat on the surface and then we put them in a tube. So once the coiling is finished, uh, we put each barrel with four air springs inside in the tube. We fulfill the tube and the tube will go into an oven. The oven is called fixing oven. This oven can go up to 1000 
degrees and we cook, uh, we clearly cook the material inside in order to fix and to give its final elasticity and hardness. Next process is the pairing. So we will need to pair each air spring with each balance wheel in different classes. Uh, the pairing process is clearly due to the fact that, as I told you before, one micron on all the length of the air spring means 3,000 seconds per day of uh, running a difference. On the balance wheel, you can have also difference of plus or less two micro or three micrograms on the weight of a balance wheel. So we need to pair. If you, if you have a balance wheel which is three microgram higher, we need to have a air spring which is more powerful. And the contrary also. If the balance wheel is lighter, we'll need to have a air spring which is less powerful. We are absolutely obliged to do that kind of pairing in order to ensure the good running of the final watch. Second operation, the so poising is the way to equilibrate the balance wheel. We have to take out this overweight by machining under the, the balance wheel, taking uh, away the material uh, under the balance wheel. And this overweight can be the result of the machining effect first or the material itself because the material cannot be always homogeneous. Spinning up the collet, so we, we have a special machine, again developed by DC Technology, to weld the air spring to the collet. Last operation, shaping the terminal curve of the air spring. Why do we need a terminal curve? Clearly, it's to attach the air spring to the cock or the balance wheel bridge. Each air spring linked to each model of movement has a different curve. So we have two ways to shape the final curve. So for small production, if a client asks us for uh, less than 20 pieces, we can do the final curve shape by hand. Or for um, biggest volumes, we have small machines uh, run by hand. Uh, we need to be really precise and really sensitive uh, when we press uh, to, to obtain the final curve uh, because the tolerance of the curve is plus or less one thickness of the blade. So all these operations you have seen uh, before seems to be simple but uh, it took almost three and a half years to develop everything and to master finally the industrial spring. We are really proud of reaching this level. Uh, we are clearly open to, to deliver that kind of components and to outsource them to all the watch industry as a chore. And uh, going back to Schwarz Etienne, uh, we clearly use uh, all these components inside ours in all our movements. So 100% of our movements are assembled with our own air spring balance wheel and assortments. And finally, talking about uh, Schwarz Etienne, I uh, give you the visibility of the full collection. Please come to discover our next future novelty or during the Geneva Fair or during the Basel Fair at uh, our booth. It will be the first time for Schwarz Etienne to launch fifth creation, which is clearly a lady manufacturer watch. It won't be a gent watch reduced, it will be a lady watch designed by a lady for a